coming next right here on the Fort Minor Project, aka the Rivera Channel. Yes, I explain why I am a part of eFeds and Call Wrestling. That's right, coming up next only on the David Rivera Fort Minor Project channel. You know what's coming up next as well. Roll that damn intro. Alright, for my project aka slash David Rivera back at it again in here for the video for you guys for today and in here for a video response to a good buddy. I'm sure you may know him as one of my either tag team partners or former tag team partner if you will and Mark the one Kennedy otherwise known as Mark and uh, basically he did a video on his history on Kaw, if you will, and eFeds on the FBXW Facebook fan page, which you should definitely check out, as well as their YouTube page and the rest that I have in my suggestions here on this YouTube channel for the other Kaw shows and eFeds. Now, this is basically my video response on how I got into Kaw Wrestling, what David the Instant Classic is about, and what I like about car wrestling. So I guess I'll start things off on how I became David the Instant Classic Rivera. Basically an idea I came out with my own and I kind of tend to actually enjoy uh, having my real name out there. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, basically as an example like how Samoa Joe or AJ Styles for an example keeps their actual names which I think is a lot more easier and Instead of just having another name created, I mean, that wouldn't be so bad, but, you know, I want people to actually remember my name and not some created name, but if it happens, it is what it is. Um, basically, the instant classic coming about from Christian, obviously, I'm sure most of you saw that coming, if you didn't know by now, and basically got inspired not only by Christian, but The Rock, Mickey James, Trish Stratus, and just to name a few, that actually helped the character out. Uh, I try not to be so much like them, but I try to be like a different version of them and more of myself in that way, a version of myself that I always wanted to be in a very positive way. Uh, watch me move and watch your back is basically, if you aren't impressed with me now, well, I will prove you wrong later. You may not have to like me, but respecting and having the respect earned Definitely, for sure, will be out there. I'm not out there to please everyone because let's face the facts, especially on here, it's kind of hard to please everybody. So that's where that came about. And the Instant Classic is basically working my ass off, doing everything that I can, and having Instant Classic matches and having some memorable kick ass and dope matches out there. So uh, being a car is really cool. I get to be myself. And having the transition into promos was a bit difficult. I know already on here I'm not the best talker on YouTube. And I claim not to be the best, but I do work my best and try to be uh, at least close enough, if you will. So, you know, that is what it is. And I'm not one to really talk loud, but I'm trying to work on emotions more. I welcome the criticism and everything else in between and try and do my all in my promos and stuff like that so you know i try and make them at least somewhat believable because i do look back on the shows on what things were going on what people have done what people have said and use that as inspiration and to help me boost up the promos and stuff because it was a little hard uh i was basically going as a pretty much as a reviewer at first, but then I started watching the shows, paying attention more on um, what my character was going through and have that 
inspiration on that of what was going on. So, you know, things are getting better. As far as what uh, my character has been doing, like what I've won, uh, I've basically been in SPW. I am in Levi's company, ICW. I recently created RCW in Austin. Uh, of course, I'm a part of YTWE 18 plus, the FBXW, CAY to YWF, and so on and so forth. Of course, SNW and you know SPW was basically one of my first platforms, uh, especially with COH that I debuted around uh, in between episode five and ten, around there, give or take. I was able to have my character debut for the first time. Uh, that was an interesting process, and it was a struggle to say the least. I wasn't sure exactly what to do in promos just yet, but over time, I gradually, surely, but surely got better. And now, basically where things are today, now I have EW with me. I had that basically pitched in help with Scott. Uh, he's really cool. Goes by Scott Adams, and definitely helped me along the way as well as Chris definitely now part of my stable with EW now looking to actually debut the stable uh, the stable uh, if you will with the franchise players as our stable there so that's really cool on that note so it's really interesting too like storylines wise they tend to intertwine so what you see in FBXW is kind of similar in YTWA vice versa uh, with YWF, things are a little bit different there, where I am basically Rocky the Dream Rivera, a little bit of The Rock there, and uh, basically um, in a little bit of a sense of a mixture of The Rock and Bobby Roode. Uh, there you go, so that's pretty cool on how that works out, and I don't really talk as much there, I'm more calmer, and you know, things to tend to actually click more, it's more about my wrestling ability than more of my talking ability there so that's pretty cool by Marco Rose helping me out and same thing with Chronics and everything so that's been a really awesome how that character turned about and, and pretty hilarious at times so um hopefully uh, you'll check out that channel as well and see some of the recent stuff that I've been able to bring out so that's been really cool so there's that uh, in terms of championships, I've been IC champion and YTWE, soon to be a tag team champion, definitely, because uh, Mr. DeVito actually bringing back the tag team titles, which is awesome. A uh, long time coming now, so that's going to be cool for the NC Connection. And we'll see how things are going to be going, especially what the world is ours. So that's a really cool storyline. And not only that, I'm working with Michael Minor now. So basically doing double duty isn't really too bad. It's actually a tough challenge to say the least. Uh, most recently in FBXW, Mark and RD and Rugged Rebel, you know, they are basically feuding with me and Chris now. And now we recently had uh, the recent match, the pants match with Chris and Mark and an idea that Mark actually had with the pants match. I tried to help out Chris, but Mark ended up winning. The rest is history. That was the first. Uh, me and Chris became the first ever inaugural tag team champions there and winning that tournament with the other tag teams there. So props to them who were able to try and stop us and were working with us, period was really cool so and now we're looking to probably maybe have another first and a possible hair match so things more of a different uh, approach isn't really as serious as other EFEDs or car shows but you know it actually stands out we have fun there and that's what it's all about so you know being able to make friends and not only that you know work with others and help promote the shows has been really dope So, not really in here for a whole long of a video, but basically ever since watching Car and being able to go at it as the wrestler that I would have liked to have been, I don't think I can really work with uh, WWE on their schedule with them being 365. It would definitely for sure take a toll on me. I uh, probably wouldn't be a wrestler anyway, so uh, at least having this, you know, whether it be on WWE 2K17 or any other wrestling game out there, 
and scene with the storylines and all that good shit. Uh, all the promos and how they intertwine with everything else in between. Uh, just meeting really cool people from the women to the guys in the back, if you will. I uh, have been really working their asses off and I definitely give props to that and uh, making some really badass friends here. So, uh, same thing like with here on YouTube and everything, like meeting really cool friends and subscribers and stuff like that. Has been really dope and awesome and a hell of an experience to say the least. So, I'm looking to continue my things on going there and... Uh, We'll see what happens. If you guys want to have me a part of your shows, definitely personal message me by all means. I welcome that. I welcome the uh, criticism, constructive criticism, anything, advice, whatever have you. If there's something you want to see out of me, I will try and work with you on that and try my best, like I said, on my character and to improve the very well being at the very well best to my ability and my well-being, if you will, on my character, and uh, I'll work with it from there, and we'll see where things are going to go. I'm looking to be on commentary with FBXW and YTWE a little bit more to work on my mic skills since I'm not one really far too much into loud confrontations. I know I'm a little bit monotone and stuff like that, but I am working on it, trust me. I'm not out here to please everybody, but... I am looking to please myself, most importantly, and do what I can, so that's what it's been all about, and having fun. I'm not really here for politics or nothing like that. Just go with the flow, and have fun, and be yourself, is what I suggest, and that's how it should be, so cheers to that with some whatever's left of this with apple ale, and with that being said, definitely feel free. How did you... Get into car wrestling. What are your accomplishments? What are you looking to achieve? What are you looking to be doing? And uh, what are some of your favorite wrestlers or anything in between? Let's spread this around like wildfire if you are part of car or EFET. And with that being said, let that sink in and uh, we'll definitely talk about that in the comments and so on and so forth. So with that being said, for the instant classic, if you will, watch me move. <laughs>